here in Minnesota. More tributes, some of them coming from those who worked closely with President Bush. Here's Carol Evans, AJ Legault. Flags at half staff outside Minnesota's World War II Memorial on a snowy and cold evening, honoring the president whose steady hand brought the nation through the end of the Cold War. We never went to war in that period of time while George Bush was president that we couldn't win. Former Minnesota U.S. Senator Dave Durenberger remembering a man he counted as a friend. He's just a unique human being. There's no razzle-dazzle. There's no ideology. There's just George Herbert Walker Bush. At 18, George Herbert Walker Bush enlisted in the Navy and became its youngest pilot, training here in Minnesota. He flew in this very Boeing Stearman biplane, now housed at the Wings of North Air Museum in Eden Prairie. He flew 58 combat missions and was shot down over the Pacific. He really lived a full life. Former Minnesota U.S. Senator Rudy Boschwitz was a close confidant and says those war experiences greatly influenced Bush's decisions as commander in chief. He came close to death in a war and so that he felt uh, a deep responsibility for sending young men and women off to war. On Boschwitz's dining room table tonight. This is also in the Oval Office. Photo after photo of a man he calls a great president. He was a very humane, understanding. He lived good life with his family and with the American people, and and he was the best qualified president in my time. The flags will remain at half staff for 30 days as our state and nation honor the life and service of President George Bush. AJ Legault, Carol Levin News.